Yeah, what's happening, YouTube Jugger here. Check it out, people. Welcome back to a very special video. So you guys know we got some Black Ops 3 in the background. I just want to talk about Black Ops 4. Everything that's been happening today has been really crazy. Just actually finished playing some Black Ops 3. I love Black Ops 3. You know what I'm saying? Now, in Black Ops 3 right now, you have, um, for 2,500 car points, you can get the melee weapon bribe. The triple play bribe, basically, is what I'm saying. You can get that right now. If you're into trying to get new weapons... Or you could do the Grand Slam. I'm still actually working on that. I'll be streaming that for you guys here. Want to come back actually stream in hopefully full time at the end of summer. We'll see how it goes. I'm still working on a whole bunch of things for you guys in the background. You guys have no clue how amazing it's going to be when I come back streaming. It's going to be top notch quality. And you guys are going to get a lot of free stuff just by watching me stream for you guys daily. So we're going to talk about that later but right now we got some fracture gameplay fracture is my second favorite game mode here in black ops 3 my first favorite game mode is uplink now that's enough about black ops 3 that's ha what's happening right now in the community also there is double xp double weapon xp and double crypto keys happening right now on a nuketown 24 7 playlist so go out there if you're trying to rank up right now now is the time to do it in black ops 3 so now enough about black ops 3 we're talking about black ops 4 if you don't know it's at your door that's right anyway so Black Ops 4, my take of it is let's talk about actually what happened and how it transpired through the reveal event if you missed it. First of all, they unleashed a multiplayer on us and I gotta say multiplayer looks beast. It actually looks like a Black Ops 3 DLC 2, I mean sorry, DLC 6, <laughs> but it looks way much more better, um, just up to date basically on the gameplay the weapons everything really looks exactly the same except it looks more refined and more polished and i actually like that i was actually hyped to see um the multiplayer for black ops 4 oh, oh my god it was so good but it's it it wouldn't get me to buy the game black ops 4 multiplayer yes but you know 5v5 you know they toned it down a little bit um, there's no campaign, so you guys didn't see no campaign because there's none. Um, the Black Ops 4 multiplayer looks good, looks alright. It looks, like I said, like Black Ops 3 just, you know, you know, you know if you see the gameplay, it looks like freaking Black Ops 3. Um, but yeah, that's enough about that when it comes to multiplayer uh, for Black Ops 4. So now after that, they show the zombies. And zombies, there are two takes of zombies we're hearing that are going to be two separate storylines. They're going to be the old character storyline continuing. And as well as the new characters storylines, so there are gonna be two storylines. So people are saying right now that they're gonna be um, two maps for zombies each DLC. Uh, that sounds pretty awesome. Um, I'm not sure yet, as of right now, if I'm going to be playing the zombies as much as I will be playing the battle royale, and we're gonna talk about that here very shortly. The reason why it doesn't look like it's really captivating, the new storyline, like when I actually seen the new storyline and the new characters on the ship in the Coliseum and you know how bad the graphics were and the engine were and you know the walk cycle, the animation didn't even look polished, it was it look really old school, it looked like an outdated Black Ops 1 Zombies game and I was like this doesn't float my boat, I'm not really interested, right now I'm actually in a competitive spirit. And I think that's what makes me better because playing zombies for the last 10, 11 years is the same thing. I mean, everyone is saying it is the same exact regurgitated. Sorry, I can't speak right now. It's basically the same thing over and over and over. Um, World War II zombies didn't do that well. Infinity War, Infinite Warfare zombies didn't do that, do that well. You know, we were looking for Treyarch to save us. And then they released Blood of the Dead, which is Marvel of the Dead remake. And, you know, if they continue with that, it will actually entice me to want to play zombies again which is pretty cool so if they actually continue with the storyline from Richter Finn and Dempsey Tank and Nikolai then I will definitely play zombies but for the new storyline I'm not really into it you know what I mean then after that they released um battle royale mode they didn't speak too much of it but we know a little bit right now and the battle royale is what I am interested in and that's what everything in the community is about i don't think you know i i know it's gonna skyrocket if they do it right it's gonna skyrocket here on youtube but i'm not doing youtube for money i'm not doing it to you know gain subs and subscribers and you know views and stuff like that i'm here just to have a good time if you subscribe cool if you don't that's cool as well you know we'll get to 100,000 subscribers one day i'm not in a rush you know what i mean sometimes people you know 
are slower than others to get to where they need to be but you will get to be where you need to be at the right time in your life so when it comes it comes it happens it happens i'm just here to have a good time and enjoy the ride along the journey you know what i mean so the battle royale mode like i said i'm in a competitive spirit right now and i love it i love it i love the simple fact that it's 1500 times bigger than nuketown i'm talking about battle royale right now and black ops 4 and they cluster f gotta keep it family friendly they cluster f the entire huge map of battle royale so it's gonna be one map right now it's gonna be over 1500 times bigger than nuketown and it's gonna be all the fan favorite maps in every call of duty in the black ops series i think that's what they're saying best parts of those maps in this one giant map so one part is going to be nuketown one part is going to be firing range one part is um is going to be uh what else, what else is a good fan favorite map might be combine so the map is breaking up breaking down into different parts of your favorite map combined into one giant map right now we're hearing that there are going to be 140 players on the map that is not confirmed yet but that's what we're hearing and apparently this is confirmed that you can actually fly vehicles so I'm hoping you can fly a F-15, F-16 will be awesome. You can drive tanks, you have um, C vehicles as well. So not only you have the mechanics of the old school Call of Duty, uh, running and gunning, but you also have vehicles in air warfare, ground warfare, sea warfare, and combat warfare all at the same time. And it's supposed to be a very high intensified battle royale. And of course it goes to number one battle royale victory so there only be one winner one man standing and what we're hearing at this point in time not confirmed but what we're hearing is that they might be zombies as well in this battle royale mode it says uh said that they're gonna do it their way so it might be a combination of zombies and multiplayer as well we don't know that for a fact yet but i'm hoping that that's not the case i'm hoping that it's just online competitive battle royale call of duty style but we do know for a fact that you can actually customize your character your loadout and you can use the zombies character to play battle royale so you can use rick the fan dempsey tank nikolai as a character in battle royale and i'm so excited to see what's going to happen here in the near future when it comes to call of duty black ops 4 so you let me know in the comment section how you feel and i'm so excited for battle royale and i'll see you guys here for another one until next time i'm a jug you guys have a good one. Peace.